It's Tuesday, December 6, 2022. Your day with a podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com or on their Facebook page. Also brought to you by YDOT. Don't forget to sign up today, Wyoming folks, to sign up for the Wyoming Travel Authorization Program. Remember, when there's ice and snow, take it slow. Well, folks, the pattern as we go through the rest of the week is going to stay busy, but we don't have anything really looming large. We do see a small weather system coming through the Rockies Wednesday night, Thursday. Again, kind of like what we've seen here, mountain areas are going to get more snow. Not a lot of snow shower activity on the plains, some, especially in the northern areas. And temperatures that are going to be fluctuating a bit, they're going to be close to seasonal averages, which means we've got a lot of upper 30s to upper 40s coming with temperatures and conditions. So not terribly warm, nothing really too cold either. There's really nothing looming large through the weekend, just small weather systems. However, we're watching for the potential for a larger storm late in the weekend and into early next week. This is the type of system that if it does come together will be impactful for parts of the Rockies, parts of the Northern Plains and the middle part of the country, especially the Northern Plains and the Northern Rockies. And we'll show you what may be transpiring. Also, we're gonna take a look at Europe. This should be in the news, and I think it will be here shortly in terms of what's going on over there. We've been talking about a blocking pattern over North America, kind of bottling up active weather. Well, that's happening on the other side of the Atlantic as well. Today's satellite photo doesn't show much. This is what's left of the system that came in last night and early this morning, and also during the day yesterday, that did produce mountain snow showers, some snow showers across the low elevations. There's actually a little low doesn't look like much here over San Francisco. This little area of low pressure right here is going to be what scoots in late tomorrow night and into Thursday, making a little bit of weather. Otherwise, not a lot going on. The Arctic air is back up here behind this boundary. Very, very cold air up there. It's going to kind of sit up there, that really cold air for the next few days. This is producing a lot of really great cloud photos. We showed you one yesterday. Pacific moisture streaming in with strong winds aloft, give you these lenticular clouds, and you also have lots of different layers. And so it ends up becoming quite the show. If you're a cloud watcher, there's a great shot out of Wheatland and out of Colorado, look at that. That is a lot like that shot that we showed you yesterday out of Laramie, where these are lenticular clouds. This is where you get all these different layers. This is because of the, of the perturbed wind going over the mountains, causing a wave in the wind form basically causing that lenticular shape to form. And we're just getting some really awesome cloud shots. Here's your low over California. That's, this is where it's gonna be by afternoon. And this will be sliding eastward Wednesday night and Thursday. Here's this Arctic air mass that's sitting right here. But this is a westerly flow for a lot of the US. So this is actually a fairly mild pattern, except for the northern border areas right here and a cooler air mass over the Pacific Northwest in California. There's that little low that goes right across the area overnight Wednesday into Thursday. Now it doesn't look like much, but the system is going to, as it head east, go right down Interstate 80. And we're gonna have some wintry weather in this area right here as that system moves east with a little bit of snow over the Rockies and a few snow showers on the plains. Notice the blocking pattern. This is gonna be a player here in a minute. Here's the highs over the Atlantic the highs over the Greenland area, the North Atlantic, and the Eastern Pacific. So what's happening is we're blocking the pattern, and a lot of all this blue and stuff up here is going to be forced down into North America, lower 48 areas, as we get into late in the weekend and early next week. Now, this is the precipitation forecast through Friday evening. See this swath right here? This is going to be areas of rain and snow with that system Wednesday night and Thursday. You can see the trail of the system right here. So if you're gonna be traveling this part of the country here later in the week, mainly as we get into Thursday and Friday, I'm gonna have some winter weather along and north of that Interstate 80 corridor, rain in the south, more rain for the Pacific Northwest. But you can see there's some gaps here over central and northern Wyoming, central and eastern areas of Colorado there. We're gonna be looking at a situation to where there's really not a lot reaching the lower elevations. And this is what the snowfall looks like. So that's why if traveling along this route here, it's gonna be getting a little bit dicey and that may end up a little bit further south about right there. 
Now, let's take a look at this longer term and talk about the potential for early next week to be something bigger. Again, the devil's going to be in the details, but I will tell you there's a fairly good amount of agreement over the next five to seven days in the modeling. And uh, we'll see if it continues here over the next day or two. But with these blocking patterns forcing this cold uh, air up here in the last area of the Northwest Territories to the southeast, we talked yesterday about these storms breaking off the main northern jet branch, becoming more cut off and taking a further southerly route. And that's when you get yourselves into situations where you're going to get bigger storms. So this is for Sunday morning. This is for Monday afternoon. See what happens? We get a more consolidated storm breaking off from the main system, and we've got a deep cold low over northeast Colorado and northwest Kansas. And if this indeed happens, this ends up becoming a very mature, very large winter storm that's going to be forming on the lee side of the Rockies and then slowly moving into the Midwest and the northern Plain states during as early as late Sunday night, but especially Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. If this indeed comes to play, where we see this deep low over the Central Plains and the Central Rockies, then this brings up that expression, boy howdy, not the hair band, the country hair band from the early 90s, but boy howdy, this would be a significant weather maker, and you can see it right there. Uh, if this comes together, look at the Dakotas, look at Minnesota, look back into the Rockies here, you're going to end up with a, a very strong storm system and a big snowmaker if this comes together. Now, we're showing you this even though this is six days, five, six days away. We'll monitor it. We'll see what's going on. But when we see something like this in the weather charts and we see agreement in the modeling, this is when you just want to give a heads up. This is a heads up to livestock interest. This is a heads up to travelers to monitor the weather late in the weekend and early next week. We'll see if it holds together and comes to fruition. We'll keep you updated as we go through this week. The temperatures behind the system would be very cold. There would be a lot of wind with it as well. And the 10-day snowfall forecast looks like this across the lower 48 states. Notice the axis is right along the U.S.-Canadian border, but also now it's getting further south. That is an impressive swath of winter weather coming later in the forecast period. Now, Europe, I wanted to show you Europe. Europe is getting into a blocking pattern. We've got a big high here over Eastern Europe. We've got a big high here in the Atlantic East, uh, just west of Iceland. So here's the UK and Ireland. Here's France for reference here. There's a deep low and a deep pocket of very cold air that's gonna spin up over Northern and Central Europe. And this is the 10 day temperature anomaly forecast. So you can see the cold air pouring in, but also notice the cold air, and this is typical in Europe, is the coldest air that'll affect them doesn't come from the North Atlantic. It comes in from Siberia. It comes in from the northeast direction. So you can see the temperature pattern very, very cold over the next 10 days. In fact, uh, this looks very similar. Again, we've brought up the year of the winter of 2010 and 11. This is very similar to what happened during that time frame. And then look at the snowfall forecast for Europe. Very impressive swath of snow across Germany, across areas of Central and Eastern Europe, areas that don't get snow very often. That's Ireland and the UK and uh, up in the northern Scotland showing some potential for some significant snow. So a lot on the uh, table weather-wise across the northern hemisphere over the next seven to ten days. If you're a weather watcher, it should be fun. Have yourself a good Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.